walking up to this farm in Epworth, and it looks like a typical farm, really. There's fields around it, there's outbuildings, there's tractors. But then I pass a sign that says, all pets at peace, and you realise this place offers something a little bit different. Well, the business is about is cremation of pets in a dignified way. Um, what happened was that we lost one of our Danes four years ago, and at that time there were other stories about pet crematoriums, women dumping dogs around the countryside instead of cremating them for vets. And the more I dug into it, the more other stories I found out. What kind of stories were they found? Well, I found out where people were supposed to be having individual cremations, where this is what vets were selling to people, and they were not individual cremations. There were things like one in each corner of a cremator, and people calling that individual cremation because it was in the corner on its own, which is absolute rubbish. All them are castings, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. The little Yorkie there. How classy. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. And. Mm. Don't think I would want that though. Well, it, not everybody's the same. Some, some come in and love them. Mm -hmm. Some people like the big fancy casket, the, the varnish one. I think that is absolutely horrendous. I hate that with a passion. But I have people coming in and loving it. Because most people end up going to the vets and have the dogs put to sleep in the vets, and I'm sure your vets is the same, it's a white clinical room, stainless steel bench, because it's their work area. And we just thought that wasn't the last image you wanted in your mind. So what I would do is, after I got people settled in there, I would then go and bring the dead dog or cat through, place them in here, mm -hmm. and then let people just come in and say their goodbyes here. Deliberately has no windows, mm -hmm. has a mirror there to make sure your mascara is not running, because mm -hmm. <laughs> there will be some tears, mm -hmm. but that door closes and this is your private place just to say goodbye. I had a lad from Wales here six months ago, he was in here singing Welsh hymns to his dog. Now, if that's what he needed to do for closure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem. Yeah, and in yeah. a bizarre sort of way, I was quite enjoying the singing. It was quite a good mm. singer, but it was mm. unusual. But that's a one-off. As we left Sydney, uh, my wife spotted uh, on the left hand side, a pet crematorium, all nicely laid out with gardens and a pond and said, you know, after all the rubbish we've had this year with Molly, losing Molly and the woman down in Derby that was not, wasn't cremating dogs, maybe that's what we should be doing. I think I remember the, the first dog that, the first customer that I, I dealt with and, uh, and the dog was his soul mate. He'd bought the dog after his wife passed away and then the dog had lived to 14 and the dog went to work with him in the car. The dog ate Sunday, he cooked a Sunday lunch, a proper chicken dinner for the dog and he sat here for nearly four hours just talking and, and I cried at the end of it. <laughs> it, was, it was a really emotional journey for me that day but it cemented the beliefs on everything that we do and he went away and he gave me the biggest hug and, and he said it had helped him tremendously. That is the clinic. That is how that is. That hasn't been done for you today. That is how it is every day after every animal that's come out. It's, no. it's clinical, but it's per very personal as well. Absolutely. It? But this side it is. This side you don't yeah. need to see on the day. But yeah. I want you to see it today so that you don't, there's no magic, I'm not hiding anything, there's, there's, there's nothing untoward. 
There's some people can't understand why, you know, and have people come in here and people have said, there's people at work don't understand why I needed to take a day off because my dog's died. They don't understand. And the people like that don't understand. They don't understand the need for this place. Then that's fine. Don't come here. This is for people that love the pets. Come on then. Phoebe, have a... No, I was talking to him, but I keep doing it. Come on, pups. Yeah. And they give unconditional love. In fact, the story I always said to people, and um, just to try and get a little bit of humour back into it, I said, how do you know who loves you more, than your children, uh, your dog or your wife? And all you do is you lock them both in the boot of the car and leave them for 10 minutes and open the boot and see who's pleased to see you. It's, the dog will be there wagging his tail no matter what you've done. <laughs> One dog wants bathing again. Come on, get up. The, the, the stupidest thing we did was that we went in this with our hearts, not our brains. This wasn't going in as a proper business venture as it should have been. And we went with our hearts just to make sure that we could provide something that wasn't out there. That we could provide an alternative to dogs going in plastic bags at vets. The smallest you've done is a hamster. Oh. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Come. so it's, it's a whole spectrum. It's not just dogs and cats, is it? And no. Parrots, and rabbits, and lizards, the whole spectrum. Yeah. I am passionate about it and I'm, I'm passionate that it's going to be done correctly. And I want to walk up there at night and sleep soundly in my bed with no conscience whatsoever. And as now that I can do. And, and forever in the future. All pets at peace. Unfortunately, puppy passed away this morning. Well, had to be euthanized this morning, and we found the website. Yeah. And so we gave him a call, and, and here we are. He had a heart murmur, which we didn't realize. We thought she was choking this morning. Took her to the vets, and nothing they could do, really. They said it's the best thing for us. So. Someone asked me the question of about three weeks back, does it affect me cremating a dog? And I said to her, and I'd say it again, and I mean it honestly, the, the first time it doesn't affect me will be the last one I do. And some have more significance than others. Obviously, I have had Great Danes in the past, and as you know, I cremated my own Great Dane three weeks ago, and that was quite an horrendous day. But I did have to do it because that's the way I knew it was done correctly.